I am one of the most versatile creatures in the ocean. My scientific name is Octopus rubescens. I am in the Phylum Mollusca class Cephalopoda. I have eight tentacles lined with very sensitive suckers. I am an invertebrate and I have the ability to squeeze through very small spaces, sometimes even the size of my eyeball. I can be as big as 20 inches. I also have a very strong beak called a radula that can inject very poisonous venom into my prey. My prey usually includes snails, crabs, and hermit crabs. I have very good eyesight similar, similar to a vertebrae with lenses, retinas, and pupils. Even though I have great eyesight, I use my sense of touch and smell to find my food. I do most of my food scavenging at night. I can swim at deep depths of up to 600 feet. I also have a very short lifespan of about only two years. I have the ability to camouflage into my surroundings and even change to the texture of a rock or a piece of coral. I can change colors in fractions of seconds to red, brown, yellow, white, and other mottled colors. I have three hearts. One of my hearts pumps blood through my body and the other two plump pump blood through my gills. I am also very intelligent, almost as intelligent as a house cat. I am also a very solitary creature. I burrow into rocks and small caves and even under sand. I am rarely seen by humans and tide pools, but when I do, you should stay away. One of my bites could take up to three weeks to heal. I have the ability to shoot dark ink when in danger as a defense mechanism. I can also walk along the seafloor using my tentacles. I can propel myself off the seafloor using water propulsion at speeds up to 40 miles per hour. I'm the giant Caribbean sea anemone. My binomial name is Condylactus giganti. I'm a type of creature that is found all over the Atlantic Ocean. I'm about 6 inches high and 12 inches wide. I can be in a variety of colors such as pink, blue, and orange. I have about 100 or more tentacles surrounding my mouth. Like all sea anemones, I have nematocytes in my tentacles to help me capture prey. The toxins help disable my food so I can swallow it whole. My diet consists of fish, mussels, shrimp, and other invertebrates. Sometimes us sea anemones have symbiotic relationships with other sea life so that we can adapt to each other. Examples of this is the cleaner shrimp and different types of corals. The giant enemy reproduces by the release of sperm and eggs into the ocean water until fertilization. The chances of fertilization is based on the proximity of male and female anemones. As a Caribbean giant anemone, there is an abundance of us all over the ocean though we are still impacted by harvesting. A fun fact about sea anemones is that we are named after the anemone flower, which is why we are known as the flower of the sea.